a group of up to a dozen Alabama cops were found to have been planting drugs and weapons on young black men for decades, with the support of higher-ups, including the state's current assistant director of Homeland Security. As a result, since the mid-1990s, nearly 1,000 innocent young black men were falsely convicted, and many of the victims are still in prison. The team of specialized narcotics officers in Dothan, Alabama, were supervised by current Dothan Police Chief Steve Parrish and current Assistant Director of Homeland Security for the state of Alabama, Andy Hughes. According to the Henry County Report, all of the officers are members of a neo-Confederate organization that the Southern Poverty Law Center labels racial extremists. The group advocates for blacks to return to Africa, calls the civil rights movement a Jewish conspiracy, and says black people have lower IQs. Despite this shocking systematic racism, documents obtained by the Alabama Justice Project revealed that an internal affairs investigation into the matter was covered up by District Attorney Doug Valeska and Police Chief John White to protect the officers involved. What's more, many of the criminals were even promoted to leadership roles. Of course, this revelation isn't new to a majority of the U.S.'s African-American community, who have been talking about police targeting and abuses for decades. In fact, in 1996, the Dothan Police Department started receiving complaints from black victims that drugs and weapons were being planted by cops. Young black men with clean records were being targeted in particular. In response, Police Chief White allegedly ordered his officers to ignore the complaints, so they did. Currently, there are two federal lawsuits pending by two former officers against the Dothan Police Department. The group of officers who disclosed the department's wrongdoings are now hoping the U.S. Justice Department will intervene and bring justice to the victims.